frequently you might have multiple students or users that have very different skills, either because of learning disabilities or because they are at a different stage in life and a different age. Bitsport is so customizable that you can still easily tailor it to each student. Let me give you an example how. Let's say you have Sonia here and uh, let's say she plays the photo touch game. Kissing. In this example, photo touch starts with three images, but let's say she is re re really little and you want her to start with just two images. So you go to the game settings and you say start with a minimum of two images and don't go over four images because that's enough. So you're done, you can now return to the game and immediately if you have multiple students, it asks you if you wanna save these settings for the current user or for all users. In this case, I want this setting just for Zanya. Blowing. See, now the game starts with two images. When I'm switching over to a new user, let's say to Felix, you can see that when Felix plays Photo Touch, he likes the cat. It still starts with three images. Let's say Felix is older and you wanted to start with six images. You can do that again and you can set the maximum and tweak it. And again, I can say, just save it for the current user. We like the school. And now you can see that when Felix starts the photo touch game, it starts with six images. But when you're switching over to Zonia, the photo touch game will start Breaking. with just two images. So that is one way in which you can easily tweak the game settings for each user in Bitsport. You can also do that with content. In this example, in the action words board, there is a lot of items. So bathing. if you want Zonia to just focus on a couple of favorites, you can do that here. In this case, I've just selected the, let's say I want to start with all of the action words with B, just as an example, here are her favorites. Again, when you create favorites, once you have more than two users, uh, the app will ask you, are these the favorites just for the current user or for all users? In this example, let's say once again, they're just for Sonia. Glowing. And you can see now she's just being presented with the action words that start with the letter B. If Felix returns to the action words, right now we have to turn the board on for Felix first. Uh, you will see that in, in his case, we haven't yet brushing created any favorites. We can quickly add some. And again, if you want Felix to focus on a different set of words, you can very easily go ahead and do that too. Again, I'm just gonna mark it for the current user. One thing that's also really neat is that when you're starting a board, it will ask you up here, do you wanna study all? study just the favorites, or if uh, there's problem words, words that the user tends to get wrong, you will see a third option appear here. If you select this and the board, then it will immediately launch in just with the Cooking. favorites. And here's all of the action words that started with C. Uh, again, the possibilities are quite powerful in regards to what you can do by tweaking both the game settings and the favorites at the user level. I hope that helps to give you a little bit better sense of what's possible with Bitsport.